Imagine that today is the last day of your entire life. Just imagine that, feel like this is it today and the angel of death has knocked on your door and says, you're going today. What's ungiven? What am I holding back? Why is it that I must do to be completely fulfilled and happy so that if death did come today, I could throw my arms up and say I'm ready to go? Over the last 20 years, I've had the privilege of speaking in four continents to audiences of one to 10,000. Rather than waiting, embody what you want. We must be the pioneers. We must be the revolutionaries. I said, who's open to something magical? When I work with a company or organization, I work from the inside out rather than the outside in because it's the people that really drive a company. And a successful organization is made up by healthy, fulfilled, and functioning human beings. I don't really coach people. I don't really teach people. I don't really train people. What I do is I untrain people. I uncoach people. Mm -hmm. As a transformational coach, I help people peel away the layers that block the free expression of their true gifts, of their true essence, of their authentic selves. I have a lot of clients who are very successful, made millions of dollars, but they come to me because they're dying inside. <laughs> their spirits, their souls, they're dying, they're not in touch with their purpose. Three to four times a year I take high level clients of mine to India, take away their passport, their money, they only have a pair of clothes and a backpack. So I'm serving a specific function that you could say is beyond just being a coach, that really is moving them beyond their limits and unraveling them. I love you. I love you. We think we're someone, and we end up creating these lives based on who we think we are. Then we end up going round and around in circles, creating these unfulfilled lives. You have been one of the great sources of joy. I mean, frankly, lots of good words. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. You know, how can I impact the other 90% of the population that aren't interested in healing or coaching or self-help or personal growth or any of that stuff? First and foremost, I just want to say I'm so excited to be here. I want everyone to just stand up for a moment. And now for the next 30 seconds, I want the men and women to merge together, offer each other a hug, a dance, an offering from your heart. It's time for us to wake up to our true self. Each and every one of you, there is a fire there. What is it you're waiting for? You're a living, breathing miracle. We often don't listen to our hearts. We often don't listen to that impulse of life. It's the things we do now that really make the difference to move us forward. To me, it's those tiny shifts. It's those one degree shifts that when they're happening, you don't even know that they're happening that really make the difference. Let's say our car, our home, our jobs, our title, our bank account, the stock market, the real estate. As all these systems collapse, we're being invited to really let go of that sense of false security. I believe that the real security is inside of each and every one of us. No matter who we are, we all have to deal with fear in our lives. No matter who we are, none of us are exempt from this thing called fear. We all have to deal with it. But as we go through life, experiences, divorce, pain, trauma, challenge, television, anger, ego, bitterness. We're conditioned by culture and society and we begin to lose touch with, with the innate essence and our essential being. If you're just thinking about what can I get in these times, you won't even survive, let alone thrive. Succumbing to fear, that never changes the situation. Ask yourself, how can I make a difference? So what if today was the last day of your life? There are so many gifts deep within us. In the world, there may never be ultimate utopia or peace, but I feel as though we can find that within ourselves. At the core, we are all human. We all have the same dreams. We all have the same wants. We all have the same desires. And there is a core of humanity within us all that is beautiful. Because if you look at the great religions, they may not agree on karma and afterlife and what happens when you die and this and that, but all of them agree on one thing when you strip it down to the core, that one thing is essential. Love, 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 love. love is so essential. It's the very core of what you and I are. Are you loving fully? Just or are you not? My question to you is, are you loving or are you not? Are you giving your gifts or are you not? And this is why I say it's time for us all to step up 
and to love now. Not tomorrow, not next month, not next year, not when the economy is perfect and someone comes and saves us, not when our life is any different than this very moment. So I invite you to this challenge. I invite you to this new possibility of loving now.